Well, it's almost here again, isn't it? Christmas, and uh, like every year, I find myself confronted with the annual conundrum of uh, what presents to buy everyone, what presents to buy family and friends. Uh, well, fortunately, I don't really have any friends, so uh, that's half the battle won already. But still, there's still family to take care of, and uh, so far I've spent the last 20 minutes working on this bespoke Christmas scene. The good news is, in Japan, when you want to buy things, but you don't know what it is you want to buy, there's an amazing shop uh, to get the job done. It's called Don Quixote, and it's a huge, giant emporium, a giant discount goods store, where you can find pretty much anything except dinosaurs and self-worth. You can especially find bizarre and poorly branded items. After all, this was the shop where I first discovered black man underwear. A questionable brand of underwear whose target market I'm still struggling to comprehend. But if you need ideas and inspiration for things to buy that ultimately you neither need nor really want, then Don Quixote is the best place to start. So, let's go and uh, see what we can find. Let's get some inspiration for Christmas presents. Off we go. If you're the sort of person who likes to wear only premium fancy dress products, Don Quixote's got you covered. Who needs expensive Nintendo license products when you can get Red Cat Man, which is basically Mario, except there's just an R on the hat instead of an N. And if you're more of a Luigi person, then uh, don't worry, there's Green Cat Man as well, also with a G. Now maybe you're a girl and you're thinking, I don't want to go as Red Cat Man. I don't want to go as Green Cat Man either. Don't worry. There's Red Cat Lady as well. Fun for everyone. Nobody gets left out. Look at the enthusiasm etched on her face. Vending machine costume. Look at that. That is pretty good actually. And it's got the exact quote you would use if you were wearing this costume. And there's another one. Of course there's another one. Uh, post box. It's a tough one, isn't it? Would you rather go to a party dressed as a post box or a vending machine? I love the, um, the level of disdain by the people wearing these costumes in the photos. He doesn't look like he's enjoying it on any level. It just looks really angry. I suppose I would be if someone tried to post a letter into my face as well. In the run-up to Christmas, Don Quixote is a great place for stocking fillers. I don't suppose there's going to be much demand for these anymore. I'm surprised there was in the first place though, to be honest. Nothing says Christmas spirit like a reindeer gimp mask. But look at the picture on the back. Look at this guy's face. This is the worrying reality of what this would look like. Well, how could you conceivably think about wearing this? Imagine you go on a date with a guy and you go back to the apartment and they're things go well, clothes come off, and uh, the guy pulls down his trousers or pants to reveal sappy underwear. Why would anyone buy underwear with the word sappy written in the top? Like, you know, people like to brag when they wear Calvin Klein underwear, but sappy, really? Why did someone decide this was a good idea to have as a name on boxes? I don't know. Just sappy? the one word you don't want. Finally a hat that speaks to me. Look at that. Evolution motor. Two-wheeled motor vehicle powered by an engine. I love it when hats describe vehicles. I look at this and I think, it's not a lollipop. This is a bloody murder weapon. Look at that. You could take someone out with that. Although I don't know why that thought's going through my mind. A little bit worrying. Coin. This is a piggy bank that takes 500 yen coins, right? It takes up to 600 coins. And if you fill it up to the top, that's 300,000 yen, $3,000. I can't imagine having $3,000 just sat in a coin, like on the shelf though. That would take a pretty big level of dedication to have that kind of money just sitting around. When I think piggy bank, I think small change. Personally, I think coink is the point.
As per usual, the best English comes on uh, sanitary products, in this case a toilet seat cover, which just says, let's choose the favourite colour from a lot of colours for your best lifestyling and spending in your sanitary space. I suppose if you are going to spend a lot of time in your sanitary space, you do want to be sitting on your favourite colour. That's not a good colour though, is it? It looks like, a, again, a dirty... It just looks dirty and horrible. I don't know why they want to buy that. Oh my god, there's more. It's the full set, the full sappy set. <laughs> sappy fullback. Look at that. Undercover of the complete body. The underwear just aren't enough. You have to get the full set. This is a robot assistant that's using lots of shops across Japan. <laughs> No. Most advanced robot in Japan. It's utterly useless. Don Quixote, the same shop where you can find walking sticks, boots and shoes, and a fucking snowplow. All in the same section. It's quite fun. Best thing about Don Quixote, everything is overwhelmingly priced. I'm not even making a overwhelming price genuinely and i think that just about sums up the store really whenever i'm walking around any one of the aisles i feel pretty fucking overwhelmed by how much stuff there is all the colors the music the noises the signs it is just overwhelming so overwhelming price overwhelming shop so that's don quixote and i can't leave here without a selfie so yeah Well, that was interesting. Not really sure what to buy anyone for Christmas still, though. It's, um, lots of, I saw lots of things, but nothing really caught my eye. Uh, uh. Ah, fuck it. Sappy and coink for everyone. Yeah, maybe I'll get the the sappy, sappy fullback. And uh, I'll get, get five or six coinks. I'll get the green one. I think the green one looked the best. Yeah, this is going to be a great Christmas. Mm.